Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody, and time once again for my pseudo cast. And hold on, something went wrong here. I hate it when it does this. Okay. But anyway, as as you can probably tell by now, um, this morning's selection is going to be. It won't be. It'll be about 15 or so minutes, but uh, one hour of Jupiter Sounds NASA Voyager recordings. Um, this was something else that came up in my uh, YouTube algorithm, uh, my YouTube recommendations. I heard a little bit of this, and I'm like, damn, that sounds pretty cool. So, um, but it, it because of that, it is going to be a little louder than normal, because uh, it's it is a uh, it's fairly quiet. So, um, oh, and also, I'm uh, I'm about to crack open a can of V8 Energy. Pomegranate blueberry flavored. Um, I'm trying. I bought these yesterday for the first time, and my God, these things are awesome. But anyway, get ready for some pops. Okay, but yeah, I had to get these because um, no no stores around where I live uh, have any uh, orange pineapple. It's what I normally get, but again, I had to find something else, so I figured, oh, might as well give this a go. I'll probably end up, uh, I'll probably end up, uh, I'll probably end up thinking this stuff here is like totally completely nasty because, you know, like I, the combination of pomegranate and blueberry, it just doesn't like try to mix oil and water or something. So, but anyway, let me go ahead and get this quote unquote music going. But, by any, anyway, like I was saying, um, I didn't get these by choice, but it turned out to be a good call anyway. Okay. But, otherwise, I didn't really do a whole lot last night. Um, I just did, um, piddled around with pinball yesterday evening. Um, just did that for a short time. I made a, I made a pinball vid for, uh, for one of my longest standing regulars, Kitaro87. Um, just, he requested Monster Bash, but as, uh, as I have a habit of, uh, I probably, or excuse me, let me rephrase that. I probably wouldn't have remembered to play that table for him. Come, come when I do the actual pinball stream, I just went ahead and made a, a custom made video or a custom made video just for him but uh yeah it for the most part I was pretty much ass I mean I pretty I pretty much sucked so luckily uh as um uh, as guitar is a big pinball fan he probably wouldn't um he probably wouldn't mind but yeah me personally I didn't do good on that table at all I've done so much better but um anyway as for the uh, pinball stream itself it it's pretty much it's pretty much taken the same pattern that it does that it's done on my uh, my previous streams. Uh, starting with Pinball FX3, I did great, did pretty good overall, um, and I totally dominated uh, uh, Portal uh, Portal 2. They have a they have a Portal table in FX3. I crushed my previous high score on there. So, but yeah, like but and. But like I said, I did pretty good overall on FX3. Pinball Arcade, though, I completely sucked ass, though. Oh my god, I was so fucking god awful. It's just drain after drain, just not doing hardly anything at all, missing my shots. Uh, sometimes shooting myself in the foot, like making a, making a shot that's so bad, my ball literally drains immediately after making the shot, like shooting myself in the foot. So yeah, I've done quite a few of those, and um, and I, I do. It's really hard to explain it. I'm sure there's a technical name for it. Where uh, you, you flub the flipper so badly that it, in such a way that when you try to catch the ball or hit the ball, the ball literally hits the very tip of the flipper in such a way that'll cause it to drop literally between the flippers. Straight down the middle. It's a and it's actually a timing issue. 
it's it or, you know it like I, I should say a, a natural sense of timing issue you know so really there's not much I can do about it in that situation because it's just the way you're uh, the way my reflexes are at the time you know I wouldn't say they're too slow or they're too fast they were just off but yeah I've had a fair amount of those the kind where you just you flub the flippers and the ball literally drops straight down the middle. So, so yeah, I ended up shutting down the stream early after that. Just screwing up way too much. But, uh, I, oh, and I did forget to mention, though, um, yesterday on my uh, Dragon Ball Fighter stream was actually a pretty good one. Um, albeit, uh, it was getting pretty exhausting after a while. I did a whole, um, what are the... What am I, um, what are my viewers? Molten Lava, I think that's his name. We did a whole bunch of online matches. So, I mean, that, that went good. I mean, it's, it's great that, uh, we're both beginners at this game. So, I don't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about what I went through on Fantasy Strike. You know, me, a total amateur, up against this other guy, a total pro. He, and I have the screenshot for it. He beat me 49 times. I think I got... I won maybe one uh, one round, like that's it. And um, one of my um, one of my regulars at the time when I when I showed him the screenshot, he was like, "So did you learn anything?" And I thought to myself, "No, not really." You know, no, I think it was all. I think it was also. No, wait, I came up with the name Charlie Brown before jumping into Panic Street. Okay, but I was about to say, all of them losses, I thought I thought I, uh, I thought it was what inspired me changing my uh, username to Charlie Brown. But no, I I, I had the name before before um uh, before I started playing that game. Well, <laughs> it was a perfectly suitable name. Forty nine losses, yeah. But this time around though, um Molten Lava is, was as much a beginner at uh, Dragon Ball Fighters as I was. So, this, so it was, it's almost like we're just learning, you know, I'm actually learning, you know, learning a lot more, learning better, because, you know, it isn't like where, you know, I push one button, all of a sudden I'm hit with a 500 hit combo, <laughs> no point in me being there, and, and, oh, let me rewind back a little bit on this too, to be fair, um, I had a few, I had a few viewers, like, coaching me, giving me tips and stuff like that, so, I wasn't completely in the dark, but again, they're giving me this advice while I'm in the middle of playing, so it it wasn't really helping me that much. I mean, I'm I'm trying to read the advice, play the game at the same time, so it's very hard for me to be in two places at once. So, but yeah, I mean, hang on, let me check the. Yeah, I probably gotta turn that up a little bit. Well, yeah, like I said, I, I was, I originally thought this was, this music was, or music, this, this ambience, that, that's the word I'm looking for. I figured the, um, ambience would have been loud enough, but no, apparently not. But yeah, but I mean, now we got, uh, we got two beginners, and so we're, this, this is very. This is gonna sound very awkward for me to say, but we're growing together. Um, I guess now that I think about it, it's almost like along the same lines as uh, if you uh, if you want multiple pets in your house, it's best to get them when they're young, like like two puppies or two kittens, or a puppy and a kitten, and um, instead of like having like a full grown adult, and then having a little puppy or you know something like that. I know that's how you're supposed to do it with cats. Like, if you want multiple cats in your house, it's best to get them both when they're kittens. Like, if um, if you have an adult cat in there, it's especially true when that cat's been in your house for a while and you introduce another another pet in there, that cat is going to think that its territory is being invaded and there's going to be a whole lot of hostilities between them. But, um, me and, um, me and Molten Lava are, are I'm, I'm kind of viewing it like that as well. Where since we're both beginners, 
we're probably going to have a much better time getting along. Whereas, again, whereas uh, you put me, the beginner, and then, you know, Billy Bob Johnson over here, the tournament pro, I'm going to get my ass handed to me every time, and I'm not even going to know what hit me. I think I've probably complained about this a few times, too, in uh, some of these other casts. And, and you know, and don't, get, and don't get me wrong on this. Losing doesn't bother me. I mean, hell, I just mentioned it a few minutes ago. I mean, I fuck up all the time playing pinball. I mean, I play ass a lot of the, a lot of times playing pinball, but yet I still love it. I still love playing it. So I mean, again, losing it, getting my butt beaten, fighting games don't bother me. You know, it's just, I guess, uh, I guess it's how I'm being beaten is, you know, is, is probably what I'd really take issue with. Again, I'm, uh, I'm getting my butt beat by a beginner. I'm, I could pretty much see this coming, and plus, it's not like. It's not like he's doing doing like a 350 hit combo just off of one single mistake or anything like that. I mean, we both pretty much play alike, you know. I think the way we both play is for the most part see the ball, hit the ball. You know, I think um I I I want to say I want to say it's a fair amount of turn taking. Like, he'll make a move on me, but I'll just sit there and block until he's done, and then I'll take my turn, that kind of thing. Um, and, uh, there's, uh, there's things in that game you can do, like, um, uh, like vanishing. Like vanishing, but, uh, vanishing uses, uh, uses resources. Like, uh, vanish, in case, for, for those that don't know, in Dragon Ball Fighters, you can do what's called vanishing. You can disappear and reappear behind your opponent. And um, but uh, you'll do an immediate hit, but uh, but even then, one, it, again, it uses up an in-game. Re it uses up um, it uses up a super meter. So it's something you, go, you can only do sparingly. And two, if your opponent is still moving, you'll end up messing with the counter attack anyway. And then uh, two, two, you can do what's called a reflect. You can reflect projectiles and. If your opponent just can't stay off you, you can you can do a reflect move and bat him away from you, but it ain't gonna stop him from coming back. So, but uh, but again, it looks like the way uh, me and him play, it's we're um we're more more focusing on the offensive side of it and not the defensive. But I think that's just the two of us trying to get our game established. So I mean, some you know. Sometimes I'll get a good defensive move in. Sometimes you'll do, you know, that kind of thing. But um, I think uh, instinctual. I don't. I think uh, instinctual. I think it's too strong a word. Again, we're both beginners. Instinct is it is just um, you going on autopilot. I'm trying to impulsive. That that's the word I'm looking for. But I think um, both of us for the most part play impulsively. Uh, see the ball, hit the ball. But again, if if I was playing against uh, again, if I was playing against a tournament pro, I never would have known this. You know, again, I I basically would have just made one move and then I'm I'm pretty much sitting on the sidelines with my arms folded until he's done doing whatever it is he's doing. Oh, is it my turn? Oh, okay. So But, um, there was something else I was wanting to say about that, too. I can't remember what. Damn, I forgot what. Yeah, I, there, were, there was something else I was wanting to say about that, but like I said, I totally forgot. Oh, well. I'll just move along. Um, but yeah, and, uh, I also watched uh, episode 8 of Dragon Ball. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man, the writers in that show are freaking pervs, man. They're like some pedal pervs. Yeah, I think that, and uh I forgot to I forgot to mention this too. Um this cast for the most part is basically taken directly from my blog, from my blog post, so But yeah, I mean, the writers in that show, my god, they are some pedos, some pedo pervs to 
coin a phrase. They, uh, they, but yeah, they had like, um, they got, they have a girl, they have girl strip teasing and they got dirty old man drooling. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's like that song, Pastry is at, or Pasty is at a G string by Tom Waits. <laughs> I just thought of that. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, the Master Roshi on that show, he definitely reminds me of Tom Waits. Whoa, damn. I didn't know that. Never knew the scenery changed. Holy shit. Damn. Oh, that's what I was wanting to say. Um, I mean, it was great doing a bunch of online matches with him, but it is pretty... It, it is pretty exhausting. I think um, I think we just do we kept doing match after match after match after match. I think probably about, about a half hour, forty five minutes straight. So yeah, after about that time, I'm like, <sighs> pretty much mentally exhausted. But yeah, it was a great time overall though. But uh, yeah, but stuff like that really does put me on cool down afterwards though. But yeah, like like I, like I was saying a few moments ago, it's like, man, and they're and they're they're doing this kind of stuff in a rated PG show. It's a freaking kids show. It's like, man, a lot of the stuff these uh, writers are doing back then, it, no way in hell they'd be able to pull it off these days. They'd probably get a damn A for adult rating or something. I mean, if 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 they were to make a video game like the if these writers ever made a video game. It'd be a damn Newgrounds raid, uh, a for adult game. Oh my god! But okay, but anyway, um, just a little bit past my cutoff, so I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Um, I pretty much said all the, I pretty much said all the things I wanted to say anyway, so now's about as good a time to stop as any. Uh, but otherwise, hey, thanks for dropping in and uh, listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, oh, and I did also forget to mention, um, unless they decide to suddenly change my schedule, um, I am on vacation this week. So I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, But until then, thanks again for coming, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.